The SACP in the Northwest starts its, uh, its uh, ninth provincial congress this morning at Stillfontaine in the Matlosana local municipality. The congress, which will be addressed by both SACP General Secretary Bladen Zimande and Northwest Premier Bushimape, will elect new leadership of the province. The SACP Provincial Secretary Madoda Sambata is giving out a sense of what's to be discussed in this three-day provincial congress. The SACP's 9th Congress, as you said, it's convened from yesterday until Saturday. Delegation all in all, it's 430. In that delegation, it includes branch, provincial and guests. Amongst guests, we also have international guests. We do have the Embassy of Palestine have the embassy of Chuba, have the embassy of Venezuela. We also have Botswana National Front leadership joining us, Communist Party of Swaziland, Communist Party of Lesotho, and Communist Party of Zimbabwe. And of course today, as we were joined yesterday by the Central Committee, we will be joined by the General Secretary of the SACP, who will deliver the main message, but also joined by the Premier of the province for a provincial government message uh, to the Congress. And the Congress purpose is to do evaluation of the SACP's performance in the past uh, period and do evaluation of how government have fared in terms of our understanding as the SACP. In the political report, there's quite an interesting element we've added. We've taken that from the 1988 paper of Joe Slovo, South African Working Class and NTR. We've decided to take a chapter that was dealing with tribalism at the time. We've taken that very clearly, that we feel that the president of the ANC and therefore the president of the Republic has been dealt with unfairly, especially in the July uprising wherein a president of the ANC or a president of the Republic can be referred to on tribal basis. And we want to say that South Africa and South Africa we are aspiring for. It's South Africa that is not based on tribalism and ethnic chauvinism. And that the president must not give up. He must stand tall and know that those that would have subjected him in that process to tribal insults do not represent us, do not represent even the ANC because its formation was on the basis of uniting all African tribes, not only South African tribes, all African tribes, and that we should be a unity as black people. It can't be that at this time tribalism raise its ugly head and a state president and an ANC president is subjected to that. We're doing that so that we caution South Africa that whilst this week we were commemorating internationally the issue of how Rwanda has dealt with its reconciliation post the genocide, that it can be allowed that elsewhere in the African continent and elsewhere in South Africa, people could still think that being tribesmen and tribeswomen is the only issue that they could celebrate against other South African 11 speaking language people. Based on that, the Congress will then review our program. Remember, we also have an issue about assessment of the reconfiguration of the alliance. In that, we're checking how the alliance has been reconfigured because the ANC agreed on reconfiguration, COSATO agreed, SACP, SANCO. Taking from that, we're also doing an assessment of the dangers of developing Re resilience and resistance of the issue of unemployment where in South Africa is now becoming a nation where unemployment is refusing to go away. Unemployment is beginning to stem its authority on our economic processes. We are re reviewing that and checking as to how best could our province first do with the issue of unemployment, 
but how best could the nation dedicate its more focus and resources on dealing with unemployment and inequality? It is now fast becoming a norm that even graduates are unemployed. And if that becomes a norm, it is going to deal a very difficult circumstance on how we encourage young people to go to school on the basis that those that have graduations or have certificates are the ones that are employed but those that do not have any of those are not employed but how does unemployment grow in this uh, time of our revolution wherein we expect that at least stability must also mean you don't stabilize on economic growth only you also stabilize on creating jobs we have a serious situation where the economy it's a jobless growth economy